thanks for joining us for this week's health news you can use. I'm Lindsay Stish. This week, we're talking about the COVID-19 vaccine and vaccine hesitancy. I'm here today with Dr. Michael Main, St. Luke's Physician Group, Cardiology Division Chair, and Co-Medical Director of St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. The COVID-19 vaccines cannot shorten the pandemic without people who are willing to receive them. Some people are hesitant to get the vaccine for various reasons. Today, we're addressing some of these concerns in hopes to answer the most common questions in the community. Well, Dr. Main, some people are voicing concerns with how quickly the vaccines were developed. Can you tell me about the safety of these vaccines? Well, it seems like the vaccines were developed quickly, but it's important to realize that that underlying technology, the mRNA platform for the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine and the viral vector platform for the J&J vaccine, those were developed over years, even decades. Um, all of the uh, vaccines that have been authorized by FDA have been subjected to really rigorous clinical trial processes. Over tens of thousands of patients have been evaluated. And we know that since then, 170 million Americans have received these vaccines and no additional safety concerns have surfaced. Now, over 40% of the U.S. population has been fully vaccinated, but how much does that number need to rise before we reach herd immunity? And why is that so important? Well, herd immunity would occur when a very large proportion of the population was vaccinated, perhaps 80 or 90% mm -hmm. for the coronavirus. We're a long way from that in Kansas City and in the United States. The good news is that if we look at countries like the United Kingdom and Israel, which have much higher vaccination rates, there appears to be a really sharp inflection point at about 60% of the population vaccinated. And at that point, COVID rates really begin to plummet. And that is a achievable near-term goal for us here in Kansas City. Great. Well, with the vaccine being so new, many people in the community are still hesitant to get it. Why are you confident that this is the safest choice? Well, we know that approximately 600,000 Americans have died of COVID-19. Millions more have been left with really serious long-term healthcare consequences as a result of COVID-19 infection. We know that if you're vaccinated, you have about a 20-fold lower risk of COVID-19 infection than an unvaccinated person in your same community. And the really important thing to remember is that if you're vaccinated, you have essentially 100% protection against subsequent hospitalization and death uh, with COVID-19. Now at this point with restrictions and mask mandates being lifted, why is it still necessary to get people vaccinated? Well, it's true, we've made incredible progress in the fight against COVID-19, but 20,000 Americans continue to be diagnosed with COVID-19 each day. Uh, and that is data from just this last week. We know that vaccinating as many people as quickly as possible offers really the only pathway to putting this pandemic behind us once and for all. And it's important to do that quickly uh, to prevent a potential resurgence of disease in the fall and winter this year. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Was well, there anything else that you'd like to add today? Well, I think if you have any other questions about COVID-19, about the vaccines, your own doctor knows you best. So I'd encourage you to schedule an appointment to discuss those concerns, get those addressed and become vaccinated as soon as possible. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Main, for joining us. Thank you. If you'd like to find out more about the COVID vaccines, like Dr. Main mentioned, talk to your primary care physician or visit stlukescasey.org slash COVID vaccine. You can also stay up to date with all the latest developments on the COVID pandemic and other health news from St. Luke's at stlukescasey.org slash news. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Health News You Can Use.